Now let's welcome Dr. Holger Klein, CEO of the DEDEF Group. Welcome. Sven Jingda, Gowei Ling Dao, Gowei Jiabin, Nishiman, Xian Xiongman, Dajia Hao, Wahan Rong Xing, Dai Biao Tsai Fu, Ji Tuan, Sai Tsu, Gowei Ling Dao, He Tongren Man, Jiao Liu Fang Xiang. The Shanghai International Auto Show is important to the entire industry and, of course, to us as ZF. As you see, we have three, including myself, four board members here at Auto Shanghai. My colleagues Stefan van Schuckmann, Peter Leier, and Martin Fischer. And of course, we have here our China president, Rene Wang, with us, who got recently promoted to our global executive team and represents the single largest market for pest car and CV markets in the world, one of our top 20 executives. René will share with you some deeper insights on our Asia-Pacific Pacific activities in a moment. Being back in Shanghai truly like, feels like coming home for myself. After several years as a member of the Board of Management, being responsible for the Asia-Pacific region, I have been honored with the responsibility for the entire ZF Group since the beginning of this year. Speaking to you today as a Z CEO of ZF, I would like to give you an overview of where our company is currently standing and, of course, where we are heading to in our transformation journey. And let me tell you, we made great progress on our path towards next generation mobility last year in 2022. We achieved a record sales of 43.8 billion, which is an increase of roughly 14% year over year. And we won the highest order intake in the history of CF. The e mobility transformation is in full swing, showing strong traction and with an order volume of over 30 billion from our customers in our order books. And our smart sensors are one key component of software-defined vehicles and automated driving. This segment saw especially strong growth too, as well here in China. With regard to commercial vehicle technology, the F has become the number one supplier from drivetrain technologies to various solutions for more safety, comfort, and efficiency. And finally, in our aftermarket division, Sales increased once again, also due to an increasing offer of our digital products and services. And as you will have noticed in 2023, we started with a genuine big bang, as we announced a groundbreaking collaboration with Wolfspeed for the development of next generation silicon carbide semiconductors for power electronics. With this, we demonstrate once again how ZF is actively shaping the transformation of the future of all industries we serve. Founded 108 years ago by Count Zeppelin, the inventor of the airships, you know, ZF has been persistently driving transformation with a through cycle perspective. Today, ZF has transformed into a modern mobility technology company and has become one of the top three automotive suppliers worldwide for both commercial vehicles and pest cars. And let me illustrate how we manage our transformation journey with just three examples out of many more. First, managing vehicle dynamic is an important prerequisite for automotive driving functions, and we see this especially here in China. With our bywire technology, ZF is successful across the globe, and we see orders for our new steer by wire products, with NIO being the first global customer for our full steer by wire system. Second, with ZF, 
most complete portfolio of chassis actuators and with our ability to combine longitudinal, lateral and vertical vehicle dynamics and software, we are leading the innovation. And as a third example, to control software and the chassis actuators, powerful high-performance controllers come into play, the supercomputers. I still remember the Auto Shanghai back in 2021, when I unveiled the ZF Pro AI with 22,000 teraops, which is designed for the requirements of a software-defined vehicle. And that was a big bang at the time. Today, our Pro AI is market ready. We proudly look at an order volume of 14 million units. That tells you something about the change in the industry, 14 million units. And we are close to volume production with start of delivery being planned for next year. Just three examples of how we successfully manage the transformation journey at ZF. And the journey continues. We can't slow down. We follow our mission of clean, safe, comfortable, and affordable mobility for everyone, everywhere. And while doing so, we focus strongly on improving our technologies and making our company more sustainable. Sustainability is a license to operate in these days. The F is committed to achieve full climate neutrality by 2040. On the road to climate neutrality, we need partners and collaborations with other companies and sectors. That becomes very clear. That is why ZF is a founding member of the First Mover Coalition, a forum of more than 70 companies worldwide aiming to advance the development and use of carbon-reducing technologies until 2030. And you will hear me talking about 2030 a lot because that's the milestone we are focusing on. Upon joining this First Mover Alliance, they have pledged to purchase low-carbon steel, which accounts for 10% of ZF's steel requirements. Having successfully secured green steel delivery, ZF will fulfill this pledge as soon as 2025 and save around 475,000 tons of CO2 per year. This is just one initiative of many within ZF. By 2030, we aim to reduce the emissions from our factories and our energy consumption by 80% compared to 2019. In the same time frame, we will reduce the emissions from the use of our products by customers and from the supply chain by 40%. This is where the contribution from low carbon steel will pay into. You see, 2030 marks indeed an important stage in this process. Numerous sustainability measures will already be in place by then. And one of these is to supply our sites with 100% green electricity. As China plans to double its renewable power capacity by almost 1 million gigawatts by 2027, let me share with you two examples of actions we take to support this goal here in China. First, we are supporting this energy transformation with our wind gearbox plant in Tianjin. In 2020, the ZF Tianjin plant delivered 70 Shift 7K high-speed gearboxes products for an offshore wind farm in Shandong province. Now, it's hard to imagine what does it mean. It is expected to achieve an annual power generation capacity of 2.1 billion kilowatts which can meet the annual electricity demand of, in China, we would call it a small city of 840,000 inhabitants, saving 1.3 million tons of carbon dioxide. As a second example, we are expanding photovoltaic systems in ZF's plants in China. For example, in our plant in Shanghai and Xiaoxing, and in Sanjagan, and I'm very happy to welcome our Lingdao men from those cities and provinces here. Yeah? We are doing our fair share to make uh, this happen. In a nutshell, with sustainability at the heart of our business strategy, the F is becoming an even greener and more diverse company everywhere. 
please come back tomorrow and take a look at the sustainability circle in our exhibition year at the booth. You will find out more about our initiatives, including our remanufacturing solutions to refurbish parts. This supports our customers to realize circular economy also here in Shanghai. Ladies and gentlemen, China and the Asia Pacific region are not only close to my heart personally, but they are important drivers for innovation, growth, and the evolution of the future of mobility. Our focus remains on being strong and innovative local, with local partners for our customers. In this dynamic market, we aspire to increase the region's share of sales to 30% by 2030, compared to the current share of less than 25%, so much more potential for growth. To witness the innovation and growth firsthand, four of our board members, including myself, are participating at Auto Shanghai this year, and we are very curious to watch the evolution. To shape future mobility right here, the F regards it as essential to continue our representation in this region by a board member in person. And I am very happy to pass on the baton to my dear colleague of the Board of Management, Stefan von Schuckmann. He will be based in Asia Pacific in addition to his role as the lead of the F's e-mobility division globally and managing our global procurement out of Asia here. So Stefan, I hope you will enjoy your role working with our customers, working with the ecosystem as much as I did. And I'm very proud to have you now taking over. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Holger. Well, again, thank you very much, Holger, and welcome, everybody. I'm indeed excited to take over from you the responsibility for Asia Pacific. And it's exceptionally innovative and fast-evolving markets. And in a business context, ZF has established long-term global strategy of shifting additional gravity to growth markets. And this strategy is proved right. In 2022, ZF Group sales in Asia Pacific have reached 10.1 billion euros, an increase of 12% year on year. 10 years ago, the ZF Group looked at sales of volume in Asia Pacific of roughly 3 billion euros. And this means that since then, our business in Asia Pacific has more than tripled. Our region is dynamic and full of opportunities. And that is why in all markets, including Japan, Korea, and ASEAN, we continuously enhance our presence. But as we all know, China plays a special role accounting for the vast majority of business in Asia Pacific. Now, China today is an innovative breeding ground for state-of-the-art technology, and this can be seen best in the automotive industry. Intelligent and electrified mobility solutions are increasingly being spearheaded and adopted here. Now, technology-wise, transformation is taking place in three areas. Firstly, the electrification of the powertrain. Secondly, the software-defined vehicle. And thirdly, automated and autonomous driving. And at ZF, we're working with traditional OEMs, new automotive companies, and technology companies alike, helping them gain a competitive advantage while at the same time growing ourselves. And our sales volume generated with Chinese OEMs today is three times that of three years ago. Now let's take a closer look at each of the three key areas in which we work closely with our customers. E-mobility is one of ZF's core technology pillars. Now for China, our goal is to provide fully localized, electrified powertrain systems for OEMs. And as part of this goal, we have built up a complete local R&D team. We operate two large e-mobility plants, and we have successfully secured major business here in China for our hybrid 400 volt and 800 volt systems. And as an example, under the roof 
of the new Lotus Electra, our latest technology innovations literally rolled out to discerning Chinese customers only just weeks ago. But our innovation doesn't stop here. And this is why we are proud to present today our next generation electric drive system. Now this system is based on a modular platform approach with individual high innovative systems and components and a short time to market. It offers highest flexibility in performance and efficiency. And regarding the e-motor, a doubling up of continuous performance has been realized by a new cooling concept, the slot cooling. And by using an innovative winding concept, we call it the ZF braided winding, the total length and the raw material could be reduced by up to 10%. And looking at the inverter, it's capable of multi-charging. And we've also integrated a highly flexible and discrete power module concept, which will further optimize to enable us to react extremely flexible to all customer requirements. And the basis for this is our discrete dual package, and we call it DDP. Now, it provides flexible solutions for our customers in terms of various voltage levels, so either 400 or 800 volt, chip technology, so from slitsum to slitsum carbide, and current demands. And for the fourth generation, our discrete quad package, it's called DQP in our terms, we continuously improve our base technology while adding more chip area into the same package. And by this approach, we address high performance current demands as well as trend towards higher power density and significant weight reductions while keeping the mandatory flexibility for all of our customers worldwide. Our compact and light rate reducer with an integrated differential, the so-called ZF Indy concept, saves up to 10 kilograms of weight and needs 25% less installation space. And with our software expertise, we master the target stretch between unification and individualization. So overall, to sum it up, this new eDrive platform enables the best possible balance between high efficiency, solid performance, maximum flexibility, and sustainable product design. And we use our strong USP of technology transfer between vehicle segments to also transform the commercial vehicle industry. And we will introduce our all-electric central drive for mid- and heavy-duty commercial vehicles, so-called C-Trax 2, to all, also to Chinese customers, along with a complete global rollout. Now, the C-Trax 2 features high power and torque and is incredibly low weight of only roughly 385 kilograms. And it can enhance e-drive efficiency to 96%, and with its seamless power shifting, achieve smooth and almost imperceptible gear changes. Now, in addition to that, to electric central drive, an integrated and modular new electric axle drive used in medium and heavy duty commercial vehicles will be introduced to China as well. So big improvements like these, ladies and gentlemen, are an exemplary for the vision we are dedicated to in terms of e-mobility. Now let's move on to the second key area of innovation, to the software-defined vehicle. And here, one major differentiator is the intelligent chassis. It's where actuators for steering, braking, damping, work in an integrated system and high performance controls and smart software algorithms. And it is here where software-defined functions can play to their full strength. So our first unique advantage is a full portfolio of all chassis actuators covering longitudinal, lateral, and vertical dynamics. And let's put it simply. We can control the vehicle in six degrees of freedom without mechanical connections to the steering wheel or the braking pedal. And here's a quick overview. So for longitudinal dynamics, our wet brake by wire system, IBC, has been in series production with an international OEMs or international OEMs since 2022, and is being rolled out to more and more customers worldwide. For lateral dynamics, 
Our new steer by wire system is on the market and current project with customers include a cooperation with NEO. And also our AKC, also known as rear wheel steering technology, has been launched in China with L7 in 2022. And our vertical dynamics, our CDC semi-active suspension, already is a huge success locally with Chinese OEMs. And we further develop our S-Motion fully active suspension. So projects have been awarded by a world-leading premium OEM. And the system is also extremely welcomed by Chinese OEMs. And as you can see, Teda has, has full control of the chassis actuators, but our true USP is the fully integrated approach as a systems provider for software-defined vehicle functions. And the series premiere of our Cubix software impressively demonstrates this. You can see it up here. Our vehicle motion console software Cubix coordinates all vehicle movements, ensuring harmonious acceleration and braking, precise steering, and comfortable damping. Cubic achieves maximum maneuverability and safety in a highly dynamic driving situation. And all this can be tailored to the vehicle's desired specifications in the end. So we combine our full suite of radar, LiDAR, and camera sensors, and our powerful high-performance controllers like our ZF Pro AI with the chassis actuators and control software. And the intelligent chassis is the basis for better driving comfort, increased safety, and great driving dynamics. And in the end, with its ability to receive over-the-air software updates, car owners can be sure to benefit from the latest updates or upgrades throughout the lifetime of their vehicle. Now, let us finally move on to the third technology field, automated driving, which is a crucial technology domain to ZF. Our local R&D cap capabilities are growing very quickly. Our ADAS teams here in China have holistic R&D capabilities for level two plus assisted driving. And the development of higher level three and level four functions is in full swing. And we are open to expanding our ecosystem locally and actively experimenting with all value added and win-win cooperation models. And the ZF Autonomous driving development teams right here in China are developing several advanced technologies. So for example, ZF will launch its first CoDrive L2 Plus automated driving system on a Chinese OEM platform featuring enhanced 360 degree sensing to enable enhanced safety, automated driving, and parking functions. On another note, ZF has launched the world premiere of its 4D imaging radar with a Chinese, Chinese customer, Psych Rising Auto. And also here, volume projection has started in 2022. And to support and help our customers with fast access and easy implementation of our 4D image radar, we are proud to announce today here that ZF will launch a dedicated development environment and kit, as well as provide open data sets. Our tool software provides customers with perception algorithm development and radar output display. And it is also open, an, an open platform for all autonomous driving developers, which includes all point clouds, development interfaces, developer kits, and in the end also, data sets. And this is effectively supporting the development process and this is how we at ZF define customer proximity in the end. Now, last but not least, our most advanced autonomous emergency braking system for commercial vehicles in China, OnGuard Max, already enters its next generation. And with great contribution from local engineering right here, the new generation of OnGuard Max features upgraded functions and improved calculation power for improved safety on road. And it comes with greater detection accuracy and longer detection range. So again, our technology is not only advanced passenger cars, but also contribute to the rapid development of automated and autonomous functions for commercial vehicles. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, to grow in and with China, we value and we leverage customer proximity. And we're responding quickly to our customer demands and have shortened our development lead time. We provide the best technologies and help OEMs as well as NUX to stay ahead of the curve in the end. And in conclusion, well, we help our customers grow, grow their markets and their market shares. And by doing so, we also grow ourselves. So thank you very much for listening. And next up, I would like to introduce our president of China, Rene Wang. Rene. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah. Thank you, Holger. Thank you, Stefan. So Shen Hong 在从中国销售在中国这片乐土上正在发生的激动人心的变化积累了成功的经验在中国为中国的初心始终未变我们也将与合作伙伴一同规划并实施本地芯片、软件和数据的战略即将在广州花都落成的第四大研发中心则代表了在本地客户的急迫的需求下
，由本地研发团队主导。在大夫在中国率先研制和生产全球最新技术，比如。最近在市场上投放的 Lotus 纯电高性能 SUV 上，成功采用了财富七大先进技术，其中包括 Stephen 刚刚提到的八百伏碳化硅电驱动技术，也包括 Cubase 底盘调度软件，以及带有冗余功能支持 L3 自动驾驶的 IBC 集成式自动控制系统。再比如。应用在上汽非凡车型上的首款四迪毫米波雷达，以高分辨率和高性价比，正成为极有竞争力的主流传感技术选项。又如，为吉利打造的高级驾驶辅助和泊车系统，体现了 ZF 本地 ADAS 综合研发能力，为未来汽车提供的线性转向技术。实现是实现高级别自动驾驶的必备条件。案例层出不穷，所以这些案例都证明了财富强大的，并且仍在不断的提升的本地开发和量产的实力。同样重要的一点，我们将继续深度融入本地产业生态，与合作伙伴一起助力中国汽车市场的转型和发展。支持中国品牌成功迈出国门，并在中国以外的市场，包括发达国家和地区，不断增加我们的份额。我们很高兴地宣布 ，ZF 和地平线将展开深度的合作，以增程 J5 和 J6 的芯片为基础，为中国本土整车公司提供高性能的计算解决方案。由此。我们将迎来中国版本的财瑞新 Pro AI 超级计算机，满足客户对于性能和不同时间节点的需求。我们也会本着开放的态度，与本地其他半导体芯片公司加强合作，协力攻破供应链和技术的堡垒，以更强的韧性来开拓未来出行的新纪元。在软件开发方面，聚焦以为更多的整车公司提供快速的解决方案。财富加与东软瑞驰达成软件层面的深度合作，合作的内容包括更加标准、安全、易用的基础软件模块和开发工具，以帮助整车公司更高速、更灵活地打造下一代汽车电子电器的构架。同样，我们也会不断地扩展软件方面多个层面多样化的合作对象，以实现取长补短、大幅增效的共赢目标。朋友们，中国市场充满了无数机遇，同时也充满了各种挑战。财富团队将与合作伙伴一起携手共进，攻坚克难。将宏伟的发展蓝图变为现实。再次感谢各位的光临，祝您身体健康，万事如意，预祝本届车展圆满成功。谢谢大家。